God is for you, not against you. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. It is the work of the enemy that seeks to weaken your hands and discourage you with repeated failed expectations in all the relationships you have been in. Always remember what Brother James told us about God. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. There is no darkness and evil in God. So all these occurrences of mere success syndrome you have experienced are not from God, but from the enemy. Don't manage these sufferings and emotional trauma and depression. Break loose the chains of near success syndrome. Sin is of the devil. If the person you have met that you concluded that you have a heart for is one that always associates with sin and encourage you to do also, it is a sign that the enemy doesn't want you to get married. John the Revelatory gives us clearance on this. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, so that he might destroy the works of the devil. Anyone that encourages you to sin is of the devil. It is a great sign that the devil is sitting in your relationship. Sin brings death. The enemy wants to bring death in your relationship. And that is why it always comes to naught after many years of dating. When the devil seeks that you don't experience the joy of marriage, it is through sin. Why is that you dated this person for this long? and then you never knew that same person was involved in smoking and drinking in secret. He or she dressed so well, so modestly. But this person always stands in support of sinful vices and deceptively wants to lead you into them. God always encourages you, beloved, not to stand in the way of the sinner, sit in the seat of the scornful, and listen to the counsel of the ungodly. This is one of the deceptions of the devil. The devil does this because he knows that when this person can permanently drive you into sin, those acts will make you depart from God to serve the flesh. If you have been in many repeated relationships where you have been maltreated or where you are always treated poorly by the person you love, it is a sign that the devil doesn't want you to get married. Don't say that it is because he or she loves you. That is why he or she is beating you. That's not love. There is a big difference between correction and punishment. God does correct and discipline us. If you feel like you're being neglected or mistreated, it's a sign that it is the enemy. No one or no amount of money is worth living constant fear of being abused. It doesn't matter how long the relationship has lasted, or how many children you have together, if your partner is constantly treating you poorly. God is confirming that this is not him, but the enemy. Deal with it once and for all. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 We know that we shouldn't be romantically involved with unbelievers, like non-Christians. Why is it that all the persons you met and all that kept seeking for your hand in marriage have been those who are outside Christ? It is something to look out for, beloved. The enemy is always in opposition to the will of God. By his power, 
he will order the steps of demonic whisperers to draw people who are not in Christ but disguised as angels of light to get sexually attracted to you. You are a special breed and God's prized possession. Just like Lot, when unequally yoked with unbelievers, it ended in so much bad story that after the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, it was his daughters that slept with him and gave birth to the two most notorious enemies of Israel. When God talks about being unequally yoked with those who are darkness personified and of the devil, it is not just in the person's mere confession. It is about the actions that the person shows that aligned with their presupposed identity. It is a great sign and should be the first of all. The devil is of darkness. Light is of God. They cannot mix. You must settle your heart about this. If all the persons that have been coming to you have been unbelievers, it is a sign of the riot of the enemy. All of these persons you have met throughout your relationships have been against you serving God and His church. Can't you see this is not normal, but sponsored by evil for shame? The enemy keeps resisting you from finding the person that can match your faith. Now, you think about your journey in the relationship and you never seem to trace the mistakes. That is not you. It is the works of the enemy. The devil is very subtle and deceptive. The very first success he has in scheme on this earth was over a relationship. This is what he majors in because he is aware that if he can reach and destroy godly relationships, he can have an entrance to frustrating God's plan. This near success syndrome has caused many to be under the siege of depression, heartbreak, and emotional trauma. That when it seems you are walking on the highway of God's plan for your life and destiny in marriage, it leads to failure. It is not as if you did not check the qualifications according to the Word of God concerning this person. Everyone said this person was the right person. Everyone congratulated you and celebrated your upcoming wedding only to experience this failure. It is the agenda of spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. It's not God's will. That's not the character of our Heavenly Father. You should know what the Word of God paints to you about who your Father in Heaven is. Whenever you encounter any problem in your relationship, you should make sure you pray to God and watch Him do wonders in your life.